Okay. So our next video is what we called another conditional statement, but this is if else or nested if conditional statement. In the last video, we tackle about the if else statement. It's very simple. The next one is nested if else statement. Okay. So how to use that one? So I assume that you already know the his uh, the theory. What is this? Or uh, what's the what is the nested if statement? The syntax. So I assume that you know that one. But how to use that one in programming or in to code? This will be the video. So I will open this one. This is our my last. Uh, this is our last topic. If else statements. So now I will remove this one. Okay. So we will create a program that determine if uh, if the if your grade is. Uh, satisfactory, excellent, or good, or poor, or like that. For example, like this, 95 to 100, you will be excellent. Okay, 90 to 94, you will be satisfactory. Then, 90, for example, 85 to 90, no, 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 this is 90 to 94, okay, this one will be 80 to, yeah, for example, uh, 85 to 89 will be very good example then 80 to 74 uh, to 84 you will be good but 75 okay 75 to 89 not 89 79 you will be uh, good uh, what will be done no? this one very good satisfied uh, an excellent, satisfactory, very good, good, or okay. Uh, this one very, what's it? Very satisfactory. We will put very satisfactory here. Satisfactory only. Okay. Okay. This one good it's very good good and below 74 will be really example okay so how to create a condition on this one this one we are using the and state and operators like this. This is what we call and operators. Operator. Okay. 
and we are using nested if else statement. Okay. So how to use that one? This one is only comment, okay? So it will not use by it will not read by our compiler. So for example, int grade. Okay. Your grade will be, for example, uh, this will be changeable. Example 90. So condition is will be like this. If grade is greater than or equal to 95, yeah, and is like this, okay, grade is less than or equal to 100, okay. yeah, use always curly braces, this will be console that right line. Excellent. Yes. Next, this one. Very satisfactory. How to put into code? Else, if, yeah, this is what we call nested if, else state. Grade is greater than or equal to 90 and grade is less than or equal to 94, okay, you will be here, console that right line, very satisfactory for example you can change also the the message that you want to display so for me this one then another else statement for this one okay how to put that one else if grade is greater than or equal to 85 and grade is less than or equal to 89. The program will display console that right line. You will be satisfactory. Okay. Next is for this one. Very good. very good else if grade is greater than or equal to 75 no 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 to 80 and grade is less than or equal to 84 then to show this one console the right line very good yes another if statement for the good else if grade is greater than or equal to 75 and grade is less than or equal to 79 program will display console that right line this will be good else 74 below will be console that right line will be failed. See, as you can see here, why I did not put if else here or else if here? Because if the program satisfied here, it will show here. If the program 
did not satisfy here, it will come here. So, how to read the program? Even you are, you are typing the program, you know already the output. You should know already the output. Or else, it means you, you didn't understand your program. So, how to read a program? This is the pro This is the very important. How to read the program or how computer read your program. This is the very important to know. Because if you run this one, it's automatically, automatic, it will show the output. But if you don't know how to read this one, it's like you are uh, like trial and error. But you don't know what happened inside or who, how computer read your program. So this is very important. To read your program is like this. It's like you are reading the books line by line. Okay? Like this. The program will start reading this one. Right? From here. Yeah. Inside the main. Then that one. This one will not be read by compiler because this is comment. So, so this one is it's not read by. It's from here. The next will be go here. They will check here. Grade is ninety. Okay, my grade is ninety. Next is here. The program. We'll check this one. Grade is greater than to 95. What is the value of grade? Grade is 90, right? The value of grade is 90. 90 is greater than or equal to 95? True or false? 90 is not greater than to 95. So it's false. False here. Then N. Another condition, 90 is less than to 100, yes, but if you are using this one, it should be, this one will be true and also this one will be true. The answer of this one is yes, the answer of this one should be yes. You get, you understand? So, 90 is greater than to 95? No. 90 is less than to 100? Yes. So, no and yes, it should be, uh, it will be false. Okay? It should be true, true, so that this will be executed. Okay, so now, here is false. It's not true. It's not, uh, it's not like the same true. This one is false. This one is true. So, it will not come here. It will come here. Next, the program will come here. We'll, we'll jump to the else if. The next, the next state, uh, the next uh, condition. Grade 90. Is greater than or equal to 90? Yes. Okay. Another condition here. And 90 is less than to 94? Yes. So the, the answer is here, yes. Here, yes. So the program will come here inside the this statement. So the output will be very satisfactory. So, the rest will not be executed because it passed here. If it is passed here, the program will show the, the output, display the output. So, 90 is greater than to 90 or equal to 90? Yes. Grade 90 is less than or equal to 94? Yes. So, same Yes, so it will be come here. You understand? So if you are using this one end operator, it should be 
true and true so that it will be executed but if one of these condition is the false or true for example this one is true and then here is false this will not be executed okay so i will run so this one will be very satisfactory very simple okay next what if your grade is 75 so the program will come here 75 is greater than to 95 false grade is greater than to 100 true so there is false here but this one is true so it should not be executed it should, the program will not execute this one so it will come here it will jump here the 75 is greater than to 90 false 75 is less than to 94 true so this one is false this one is true so it will not execute it it will jump here it will jump here in the next if else uh, else if statement 75 is greater than to 85 false 75 is less than to 89 true so this one is false but this one is true so it's not the same so it will not be executed here 75 is greater than or equal to 80 false 75 is greater than or less than to 84 true so this one here is false this one here is true so not the same not executed here so it will jump here so grade is 75 75 is greater than or equal to 75 true grade grade 75 is less than or equal to 79 79 true so here true here true so the same true will be executed this one it will come here so the output will be good see so even you did not run the program you know the result so this is the result good see good if 74, 74, or 73, for example, C, 73 is greater than or equal to 95, false, true, so it's not the same, it will not come here, it will come here. 75, false, true, it will not come here because it's not the same. Come here. Uh, false, true, so false true, it's not the same, so it will come here. For uh, 73, false true, it's not the same, so it will not come here, it will come here. The program will come here, it will read this one. Uh, 73 greater than 75, false. This one is true, so false true, it will not come here. So this will come here, the last. So if it is not succeed here, automatic it will come to the else statement see Fit. so i hope you understand just comment on my uh, youtube and subscribe also so that the next video uh, will be uh, you you will subscribe in my uh, channel and also uh, the next video will be more on uh, advance. Okay. So I hope you understand. Please subscribe and comment if you have question. And if you have suggestion to run a program or questions, just comment them. Thank you.